Well, thank you all for coming. My name is Joel Baker. I'm the director of training here at Alamode. And today's class is the five things that you can do today to shave minutes off every report. Some of you may be already using some of these things, and that's fantastic, but hopefully you'll find at least one or two of them that are going to be eventually indispensable to your workflow. So I'm trying to keep this class to bring it in in under about 15 minutes or so, so it gives us about three minutes per topic. So let's just go ahead and uh, dive straight on in. First thing I'll do here is pull up my email in Outlook. And actually, I'm going to dock that on the right-hand side of the screen. You'll notice on my desktop I've got individual folders for each of the properties that I'm working on. And let's say that this particular email is an email that normally I would open it up like this, and I'd file, and I'd print, and then I'd print it out to my printer, and then save it physically in my manila folder. Well, one of the things that you can do is literally drag and drop an email out of Outlook directly into a folder on your computer. And this folder right here has a bunch of stuff in it. It has MLS sheets and printouts and extra pictures and, and, and narratives and all kinds of things. I can put basically whatever I want to in this particular folder. Well then in WinTotal, so I have my report here. You'll recognize this as WinTotal. I can go to my digital work file. Let me dock that on the right hand side of the screen. I can then take everything in this folder, including, you'll notice, this email down at the bottom. Of course, I'm doing this after the report is complete. And I drop everything into the digital work file, and I have everything saved. Now, this particular uh, item, you'll notice, the quick list and addenda, I can still double click on it, and it opens it up in Outlook and still has all of my attachments. So, attachments do come across when you do things this way. One of the reasons I like dragging and dropping into a folder on my desktop means I don't have to have my report open all the time. As long as my computer is on, I can put whatever document I want to uh, into that folder on the desktop, and then when I'm done with you know, gathering all of my data, I can dump everything all at once into my digital work file. It's zipped up as part of the report. It's archived along with the reports. If you use the vault or if you use some other backup method, um, so everything is backed up. You save printing costs and you save printing and storage time. Uh, Sonia wants to see uh, how to drag again. Sonia, you just click on an, on an email, so this particular one right here, this go to meeting, I can click and drag it right into whichever folder I want to. It's literally just a click and a drag. You can save anything you want to in the digital work file. I know a lot of you print your emails, so that was why that was my example. Item number two. Let me hop over back to my forms here. Number two is to learn your keyboard shortcuts. You'll notice under help that you have a WinTotal hotkey guide. This is also available in Total 2011 for those of you that use it. In a nice PDF you can print it out uh, and have access to the bulk of the hotkeys. They're helpful not just in WinTotal but also in Total Sketch. They're actually really, really helpful in Total Sketch. Um, I'm going to choose to only show four here just because of our we're trying to keep this uh, fairly short. So let me hop to the grid real quick and say that I put in uh, Fee Simple. And I want to push Fee Simple all the way to the right. I can do that with the F2 key. F2 pushes Fee Simple all the way to the right here in the grid. This also works in the comps side by side view. So if you have 12 comparables, I would then have just pushed Fee Simple all the way across. So that's one keyboard shortcut. Another keyboard shortcut is, let's say, just to keep this simple, let's say I have leasehold in comp 1, and in comp 3 I want it to be equal to leasehold, but I don't want to have to type it out. You can use the equal sign in a grid field like this, equal to number 1. So I do equals 1, and leasehold comes across. Equals also at the top, if you do <clears throat> equal in the first blank, it pushes everything from whichever one you want. So if you want to essentially make a copy of uh, the subject you'd, into a particular comparable, just copy all the data across, you'd go up to the very first field, and into the address field, the very first line there, and you'd hit equals zero for subject, and it would copy the entire column there. The whole, uh, all the data for that comp would be copied across. Two other keyboard shortcuts. Let me go here to 
the neighborhood boundaries. Rather than if I want to delete this, this whole thing, I would ha either have to grab the mouse to select it all, or I would have to just sit here on the backspace key. You can hear me doing that. Well, the keyboard shortcut to delete everything within a field, or even a set of fields, is Control K. So if I want to remove everything from the neighborhood section, for instance, I just highlight the whole neighborhood section, you know, if I had data in here, and do Control K, and it would clear everything. So Control K is a good shortcut there. And my fourth and final keyboard shortcut to share is going to be Control D, which puts in today's date. Control D puts in today's date. Item number three is hover links. Hover links are down here in the down at the bottom and you can create links to other programs to various websites but you can also create uh, not just a link to a website but also have the website open with data in the URL so if you've got some sort of search uh, function on the web that the URL contains the data that you're searching for you can actually take the data out of WinTotal and put it into various places in the URL into the website address so that it searches right. Of course, this will depend entirely on which search feature you're using. A very common one that's used is Google Maps. Here I've got uh, Google pulled up and I've done a search here for my address, 1837 Kings Crossing, Edmond, Oklahoma. I'll click on Maps and I get my string. This is the, this is the URL. Now, I have gone ahead and I've figured this out already for you. I'm going to remove everything after that particular address. So there's there's my real search string. And what I can do is I can come in here and I can if I wanted to in the in the browser I could just type in a new address. That would be perfectly acceptable. But I don't want to do that. I'm going to copy the whole thing and go back to WinTotal. I'm going to put in my address in here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I'm going to replace each of these items here with the fields from my report. So OK is Oklahoma. What I'll do is I'll take that out and I'll add in subject and not going to go up there for me. Let's try this. Add field. There we go. State. You can see that it puts in substate there. Then I'll go to the city. I just have a very odd resolution here on my computer monitor for lower resolution than WinTotal will actually take. That's why this is happening. And I'll do the address, the whole address. So now I have in my URL, I have the information from the report itself. We'll call this subject Google Map and I'll click OK. Now in my hover links I have my new option here for subject Google Map which then pulls this up. Immediately pulls up my my Google Map and you can see you get a picture of the property you can have a satellite view and you can zoom in and out. So it's like having a uh, location map instantly without having to go to the maps power view. You have access to that immediately. And of course you can use that in any report. If I go up to the top and change my subject address, you'd see that it would pull a new a new map for me. You can use hover links to do all kinds of things, to open all kinds of programs, uh, and even to replace data in URL strings, which is pretty slick. That was item number three. Item number four. Let me go to my addendum. Some of you have figured this out already, but many of you have not. This is a custom addendum that I have built that I use in every report. It's in my template, but instead of having to come to this addendum and replace it with things like you know fill out manually the the subject property address uh, the name of the the lender that sort of thing that automatically fills itself out for me as I fill out the report each of these blue fields is a merged field from the actual form itself so this is the address information what I've got here is the one example that I haven't done which is neighborhood I need to put the neighborhood name in here Okay, so I'll take that out and I'll go up to my form and I'll click into the neighborhood name field. I want to bring that in and I want to link the neighborhood name field, so I click into it. Then in my addenda view, I click where I want it to go, so it's there in between my parentheses. 
Then I click Link Field with the down arrow, and you can tell by the blue that it has been linked down. That is now a linked field. If I change Quail Run to be, uh, for instance, Chelsea Station, you'll notice it changes it immediately in the addendum. This makes it useful for uh, multiple reports, obviously. And so you type it in one place in the form, you don't have to retype it in the addendum. So you can create custom addendum with linked and merged fields. Our fifth and final item is something that many of you have also figured out, but many of you may have not. I know a lot of appraisers that for FHA reports, knowing that um, FHA requires the, the FHA number, you'll put it up here for the major form, and then you'll go in like the location map or uh, the addendum, and you'll modify the header to include the FHA number manually. You'll do it manually. Let me show you when you go to print, and this is true whether or not you're printing it physically or printing it to PDF, and regardless of the delivery method, you still obviously see this screen, right? Normally, you're used to probably seeing this screen. Down at the bottom, you click here for more printing options. And here's a checkbox for print the main file number on each form. If you use the pull-down menu here, you can choose print the FHA or VA case number on each form, so that if you fill out the VA case number in the order power view, then this information obviously transfers across and is printed on every single form of the report. Other things are really cool here in this particular view, including print net and gross, print a summary phrase, show table of contents column, save PDF to reports work file. Lots of neat things here in the additional options. Those are my five things. Uh, first of all, thank you all for showing up. It's a very swift class here at 15 minutes long. Do any of you have any questions or need me to, to show anything again?